comfort food for the soul. I'm giving you a glimpse of a very special event. Father Elohim, the God of all comfort, is showing me that in some ways my entire life of learning and doing good things with the hand has led up to this moment. Because what is Ecclesia? Ecclesia is friends. Friends who are putting the food of the body and blood of Yeshua inside of them as a unifying spiritual, mystical friendship, a reconnecting. Comfort food for the soul. Now, what you see here is a hearkening back to Richard Rhodes. My uncle Richard Rhodes was very inspiring to me. He is the guy that got me started. He got me started on the, the joy of the joy of funny old cars. He had a 31 Model A and a 1934 Plymouth PE business coupe and Richard Rhodes was a dentist. And he had all kinds of really cool dentist equipment. And once long ago, I had come to Sedalia, Missouri with my mother. And on that trip to Sedalia, Missouri, somewhere, I do not remember where, I purchased two of these heavy-duty, strong, well-built doctor's cases. In one search, I discovered it was called a veterinarian's case. But this company in Michigan is called Pandora, and they made cases. It appears that they're no longer in business. So I purchased these two cases, and then I left these two cases at the home of Cherie Barden. That was ten years ago. Then I got a call to return to Sedalia during the hurricane. And Cherie said, oh, and by the way, there's these two boxes. There's these little, little two little suitcases that you left here. Well, <clears throat> I had bought them because I thought that would be really nice to carry communion equipment in. That was what my idea was. Well, I came back here ten years later, and here they are. And I happened to be traveling with this enormous roll of fabric. Fabric, fabric. This enormous roll, this big pile of fabric that has grapes and grape leaves on it that came from a Crown by the Sea Refreshment Ministries. It was a piece of fabric that my mother had purchased. And I decided... Since the interior of this, these cases was not so attractive, I thought, what if I figured out how to line these things so when you open them up, they have a beautiful interior to hold the cups and the matzah and the grape juice, kosher grape juice. Or the wine. And now, in this time, in this day, 
actually the day after my daddy went to rest. My daddy went to rest September 17th, 2012. He was 77 years old. And uh, so I'm just sharing with you that I have been working on utilizing spray fabric adhesive something that I learned how to use a while ago and um, I really like to do crafty things and so at some point this case is going to travel along with me and it will be opened up and utilized to quickly put before the people a communion time it is written in Acts 2.42, they were obsessed with the word in Greek is the word that we get addicted to. They were addicted to four things. They were addicted to The apostles' teaching, the being together, the breaking of bread, meaning the communion, which is a closed meeting, a private meeting, where the men admit their faults, and the people are unified with Christ and one another. And the prayers, meaning the prayers of the temple, those four things, let us know let us study the Apostles' teaching. Let us be together all the time. Let us be excited about regularly breaking the bread and putting inside of us the body and blood of Yeshua. And let us be regular and constant in the prayers. Yay! So... On this cold, cold night, below freezing, yes, on this cold, cold night, below freezing, I have this marvelous little heater plugged into the side wall of a church. This little heater that's keeping the interior of my van warm. The little heater. And I am scoping out how everything's going to fit together. perfectly marvelous communion case. I'm capturing this moment because it's very, very special. Now, I've got to cut more fabric. It's interesting. It has all these little side compartments. This is a perfect place for small disposable cups or small cups and uh, I'm planning on procuring some some foam block so that I can tuck tuck the bottle and things into foam so things don't move around or rattle around and uh, I've come up with a slight problem. I was wondering if the, if the matzah is the same size as the, the interior. 
here, and it's not. It is not the same size. I had I plan to procure a, a a tin, a square cookie tin, to put the matzah in, but. Since the actual size of the matzah is bigger than this square, when it is stored, the matzah is going to have to be broken. And it's interesting because it would be appropriate for the deacon to break the matzah. Because that servant is attending to the materials. So the deacon breaks the matzah and puts it into the bread tin inside. Now, if we went to saltines, they obviously would fit, but we would prefer to use matzah. And so in this we will fit <clears throat> we will fit a tin for the matzah. We will fit a vessel for water. We will fit Cup, a large cup, a chalice cup to pass. We will fit a plate. We will fit probably some small fancy cups <clears throat> and also small disposable cups. And it's interesting, there's this one compartment that has a tiny little small compartment for, I don't know, needles and Surgical things. <coughs> and another little space in here. I haven't figured out what I'll use for that. Guitar picks. <laughs> Communion gear and guitar picks. And, um, uh, like this container here that that uh, that could end up being a compartment for these little guys I could potentially fit two rows of these two rows one space down below. The crackers will not take up a whole lot. So this is being designed at what? At two o'clock in the morning. Somewhere in the fields of Missouri. on a cold, cold night in close friendship with Yahweh Elohim.
and I've been hearing it's so valuable for me to complete this work. It harkens back to the season when I would spend all of my time working on little car models and a ver very closely attending to all the details, <clears throat> making things turn out just so. I have to trim these edges and do a bunch of other stuff so when you open this up it's really be beautiful. <clears throat> The uh, fabric adhesive work has been turning out very nicely. That's my Jemby upside down. There's a guitar in here somewhere. There's my mandolin. And there's a TV screen ready to drop down to watch movies of TLR and Darren Wilson. That's a bag full of musical instruments. And we might tour this one word definition. Inspire. Verb. Inspire. To encourage someone to greater effort. To encourage someone to greater enthusiasm. To encourage someone to greater creativity. To awaken a particular feeling in somebody. Latin. Inspirare. Inspirare. To breathe. It means to breathe. We've got Oswald Chambers. Daily Devotional Bible. We've got a Septuagint Bible. We've got... Spanish Santa Biblia, we've got butterflies, and this is our mobile tent, and this is inspirare, to breathe, to breathe inspiration into people. That's what we're doing. I give you greetings. I'm quite fuzzy at the moment. <laughs> this is the creation of the Eucharist case. The Eucharist case. The fruit of the vine. The bread from the earth. The fruit of the vine. The bread from the earth and the water. <clears throat> comfort food for the soul, a gift, a gift from Jeffrey Harper. I've been carrying it with me and I've never opened it. I knew that it was for a very special occasion, a gift from Jeffrey Harper, hallelujah. One gradual step at a time. But this is the beginning of the blessing of thousands and thousands of souls. The simple practice of returning to Ecclesia in the happy, simple, sacred meal of the body and blood of Yeshua, preceded by men being real about all of their stuff in a happy way that comforts the women and gives the children an example and an opportunity to follow. <clears throat> As the special apostle who was selected, remember, Rabbi Saul was selected after Jesus went back into the spirit realm. That's pretty important. He, he got picked supernaturally. And he had been evil, anti-Christ, and he was turned into a pro-Christ. And he declares that we should imitate him as he imitates Christ. Now, 
Christ is perfect, and the way that he imitates Christ is he declares 